Well, good morning, adventurers. Hey there. <laughs> Didn't see you there. <laughs> Just kidding. We set this whole we thing up. We set you guys up and this up and it up. Can you tell that we're delirious from all this <laughs> RV renovation? We're so close to the end, so we're weirdly stressed out with all the final details, but we're also very excited to almost be done with it. Yeah, it's like when you're running a marathon, and you just have one mile left. It's the longest and almost awful one, but maybe you can see the finish line. <laughs> Speaking of final details, this is our friggin' bed. We've had this sitting wrapped up for the longest time ever, mm -hmm. and we never thought we would finally be putting this thing in. But we're doing it, y'all. However, like everything in this RV, it has to be customized in order to fit just the way that we want it. So as you can see, this bed is all the way up against the wall here in the sleeping area, but it's overhanging. Mm -hmm. um, because this is a full size, but this area up here is, what do they call it? Three it's quarter or something? It's a three quarter size bed. So I think this is 54 inches, but we only have like 48 inches. Yeah, and they don't make nice quality mattresses in that size. Not that we could find or none that we were happy with. So yes. we're gonna cut this mattress, baby. But we're gonna sew it back and it's gonna be totally fine. Yeah, we have actually done this before when we renovated that other RV for that competition out in the desert. We haven't mm -hmm. posted that video yet, so you guys haven't seen all that, but we had a mattress twice this size, the same brand of mattress, and we cut the sucker down the middle to shorten it, and it worked, so we're gonna do it with this one. We're gonna try, try again. Let's get cutting. Let's cut a, cut a bed. Let's cut a bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, first we gotta mark it, okay. then we'll cut it. This looks like some creepy operating table in a basement <laughs> laboratory or something. Yeah, the lighting in here definitely does not help either. <laughs> so our plan is we have made the marks where we need to cut. We're gonna clamp two pieces of wood on the top and bottom to cinch it together. And then our original plan was to use the uh, meat slicer to yeah, slice like through Like a turkey it. cutter. <laughs> Apparently those work very well. We don't have one at the garage, obviously, but we do have a Sawzall. <laughs> okay, now it's for sure a basement surgery. I don't even know. I think it's turned into saw at this point. I have a feeling this is not gonna work. <laughs> but we're gonna give it the old college try. Yeah. This isn't even gonna cut through the whole thing. Okay, so this is how you gotta do it. Did that work? <laughs> They have like a, what the hell was that? I don't know. All right, success. Although if you do this method, definitely cut from the top to the bottom, not yeah. the bottom to the top. Now See? we have this beautiful cut on the bottom when really we'd want that on the top, but it's but really not that bad. We know from experience that you don't feel this jagged edge at all once all the blankets on there, so you don't have to wear that much. So this is our plan. We were gonna stitch this casing back up, but we don't have all of our sewing gear and we're really not that confident anyway. So we've got some seaming tape. There we go. So apparently you just put this between two pieces of fabric, you iron it and it creates a seam. Full disclosure, we tried to do this with a heat gun and I think we actually set the mattress on fire. <laughs> all right, we got it all taped back up <laughs> and uh, oh, it yeah. fits like a glove. Perfect. Yeah, but I know what you guys are thinking. If we leave this mattress up here, isn't it gonna get moldy and mildewy underneath it? Heck no, nah. and I'll tell you why. <laughs> because we put this awesome mildew resistant coconut fiber mat underneath the mattress, and apparently this is built for this exact situation mm -hmm. so that it allows airflow underneath the mattress, which keeps mildew and mold from growing. Wait a minute, we have a special guest in the RV. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Make a noise all day. It's me. I'm guilty. <laughs> it's Matt Boyd. He came with the high noons. Classic yeah. high, noon high noon party. party. All right, y'all. The plan is to head over to Matt's. We are going to continue building our blackout curtains. How are you feeling? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm feeling good. I think I'm feeling ready. We proved that we can sew a seam, right, and kind of get it even. I'm feeling pretty confident about it. I think that turned out pretty good. I'm scared that our first night was so successful that we think it's going to go really quickly and it won't. But we'll see. Here's the hoping. <laughs> Nothing we do goes quickly. You guys know <laughs> this, so you can I, guarantee that. I hope it doesn't take a year and a half, though, to do the curtains like it did. Do you feel like a seamstress yet? <laughs> no, not at all. Y'all, <laughs> we haven't said much about this process and it's because we have pretty much messed up every portion of it. So <laughs> I am 
a little frustrated right now. No. <laughs> but I'm just gonna fake it till I make it, right? It's gonna turn out beautifully. I can't help but feel like y'all are gonna think we're absolutely nuts for all this stupid DIY stuff we get into. <laughs> but it's this weird thing where we're like, oh, we wanna learn how to sew, it'll be great. Then we end up not having enough time. It ends up being really hard because we're complete noobs. <laughs> whole thing's a crazy learning curve. We don't have enough space. We've picked a project that's so huge, y'all. This is many feet. We don't have any tables big enough. So now we're on the floor and I'm stressing about getting our brand new curtains all dirty. And then it's just been a disaster. The thing is, we know deep down that we can do it. We just have to try to remain <laughs> positive is, while we're learning it. Should we do it? <laughs> no, we should not, but we're too deep in now. Too deep in, oh God. Does the wine start soon? Yes, Please, wine goodness. and dinner pretty soon. Oh, good. Ooh, all right. One hem down, only like 50 to go, baby. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Y'all, Eric did such a pretty seam on this side. But if you flip it over here, we forgot that we had a little gray thread in there or a little gray bobbin. <laughs> and so I think we're gonna have to rip his whole first seam out. I think this is an appropriate pause for wine and dinner, right? <laughs> I'm feeling defeated. I'm just gonna drink my wine forever now. Guys, I've been in here fixing that stitch that we did and it is looking much, much better. Meanwhile, Allison has been cooking up dinner. Ooh, you're just mashing some potato chicken on my aggression on these. <laughs> Y'all, we just got our HelloFresh delivery and we wanna give them a huge thank you for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel and the RV renovation that will probably be done one day, hopefully. We're, we're getting there. <laughs> It's very really close, very close. Close to not being endless anymore, who knows? If you're not familiar with HelloFresh, they deliver ready to cook meals straight to your doorstep with ingredients that are pre-measured and perfectly portioned. Apparently I'm a lot better at juggling than I am at sewing. And I'm not even that good at juggling. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, how long can he go? Oh, that's how long. We are actually really terrible at managing our time. I don't know if that comes across in the videos, I'm but sure it does. <laughs> we always stay at the garage way too late and never have time to go to the store. Typically, we just get some fast food or eat leftovers at home, but with HelloFresh, we get to make fresh meals like this in like 30 minutes. If you don't even have 30 minutes to make a meal, have no fear because they do even faster meals like egg bites for breakfast, salad kits for lunch. They even have after school snacks like string cheese and cinnamon rolls. We almost Almost forgot to show them which one we're making today. Oh yeah, it was a hard choice. But we went with crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlets. <laughs> and it is almost done. Check it out. Oh, bon appetit. Looks pretty close. I know. HelloFresh once again has hooked us up with a discount to give to y'all. Mm -hmm. If you head to hellofresh.com and use the code endlessadventure14, they're gonna give you, take a guess. 14 of these. Amazing, delicious, amazing, <laughs> amazing, delicious meals. Ah, I'm just so hungry. <laughs> Is it obvious that she's a fan? <laughs> we really are huge fans of HelloFresh. We love doing these integrations because we get to stuff our face with I delicious know. panko breaded chicken. Next time I'm gonna make you cook so that I can eat first. I will never do it. You guys, we're on a roll now. We almost have the first curtain completed. We've recruited uh, Matt to help us. I'm here, here with them doing this. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. didn't know this is what he was gonna get yeah, to get down know. on. Okay, definitely I definitely would not have let us come over had he known this is what was happening tonight. <laughs> You've destroyed my house, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, y'all, we took over the couch and his chair and his bedroom back there and his kitchen, every room. But it's, it's okay, I like it. <laughs> if you ever happen to come onto our RV, do not look too closely at the curtains or anything else for that matter. Well guys, as usual, we've bit off way more than we can chew. This is gonna take much, much longer than we thought. Although I think the trial and error phase is over. I think from here we can easily make all the rest of these. Okay, one down, only seven more to go. Yeah. At least it's one big one. But I mean, come on guys. For our first try at ever making a curtain, tell me that these hems aren't pretty dang good, huh? And also, it is very, very black out. Okay, it's the moment of truth. <laughs> How well did we get the dimensions? <laughs> it's looking close, yeah. Catch them this way a little bit. 
I can't go that way. Are you at the edge? I'm at the edge. Are you not? Oh no. No. Are you serious? No. It's like a whole inch too short. Oh my <laughs> gosh. How on earth did we make it that much shorter? This is the one for the other window. I think we've tested this one already. I mean, oh the other one's God. much more off than this. Oh, can you guys believe that? Man, we got a lot to learn. <laughs> How did we not measure these against each other? I don't know. Well, I guess we're going to be living for the world to see. I give up. <laughs> we'll just have open windows. Yeah, we were, really <laughs> wanted to have the blackout curtains in before we did this little trip of ours. Because it's going to be really awkward in here when everyone can see in. We have like one more night. Maybe we can get one busted out. Anyway, it remains to be seen what we do about these curtains, but we are going to sort it eventually. But for now, we still have a whole heap of things on our task list to do before we do our trip, which is the day after tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> yay. Let's do I don't it. <laughs> We are finally putting the hinges on this utility closet thingy that we built. This has been very, very challenging. We've had a lot of issues that came up. That's why we haven't put these on yet. One of the problems is that, see how close this is right here? We didn't really think about how there isn't really a good hinge, a good invisible hinge to work for that. So the best ones we could come up with, technically we're not even doing these right because they're not meant for wide doors like this, but they're the only thing that we could find that's gonna work. So that's what we're doing until it breaks. <laughs> when we built this closet, we really didn't take all this stuff into consideration. You can see that it's gotten quite crowded in here. So this little solar disconnect switch is right in the way of this hinge. So this isn't gonna work. So now I have to kind of move this as low as I possibly can. The door down here, the batteries are in the way. So the hinge <laughs> isn't gonna go in there. We could maybe squeeze one in, but we can't fit the other one in. So we're gonna have to retool what we're gonna do on this last one, I'm not sure. But these two, we can get in. Maybe we'll just leave it off and the batteries will be a nice uh, artistic touch. Yeah? yeah. Let's just paint some nice design on yeah. it. Yeah. It'll be a whole feature. If you guys remember, in the not so distant past, the RV was hit by a semi truck and he sideswiped it in the front and back here. This is part of the damage right here. A lot of you have been asking what we have done with this and what we are doing with this. Well, this is what, this we're, is doing. what we're doing. <laughs> We haven't had time to get this fixed properly. We're still not sure exactly how we're gonna fix it. It's a whole ordeal. I don't really wanna get into the details because it really just pisses me off. Um, so this is what we're doing for the time being. Good as new. <laughs> when he hit it, it just kind of pulled this trim out a little bit. So we're just trying to form it back and then we're just gonna cover up this seam and mostly just make sure it's watertight. We came up with a much better plan to just take this screw out and put a longer one in and use it to kind of cinch this together. Oh Working. yeah, much better. I feel a lot better doing this than just smashing clementine with right. a mallet. So I have made a decision on the door. I'm putting a little mirror in the hole. What a cool idea. I know, it feels very vintage to me and I really like that. Oh, what a perfect fit. <laughs> ah, look how cool. You guys gotta admit, that looks pretty cool, right? Y'all, we don't have a mirror yet for the bathroom, so I think we're taking our trip in a couple days and this will probably be the mirror <laughs> I have to use. It might be tiny, but it'll do. We have a potential solution to the cabinet door dilemma. Piano hinge, Ooh, we've yet to use any of these. The way it works is it goes on like that and the hinge is just this whole strip. Will it work? I don't know. I don't know, is it strong enough to hold the weight of this whole yeah. thing? We'll see. Yeah, this might not work, but we're really kind of running out of ideas. We just spent way too long looking at hinges at Menards and this is what we came up with. Check it out, you guys. Voila, the piano hinge worked like a charm. We put magnets on them so that they stay closed when we're driving. Very satisfying. And then we're gonna put some kind of handles on here to actually open these, but we haven't decided what we're putting on them. But that's done. How's that feel? It feels very, very good to not <laughs> see anything yeah, here we've anymore. We've been staring at this monstrosity for a long, long time. I'm, I'm done with it. Yeah, now it's gone. All right, now the moment of truth. Can you go up there without smashing our white doors? Hell yeah. Well, no, we are gonna scuff up these doors because this is also our staircase. And that's how you climb up to here. Ta-da! Pretty good, huh? Yeah. And then when you climb down, you just do it like so. Actually, I remember thinking, anytime you're gonna climb up this, you're not gonna have shoes on, right? Because you're oh, climbing yeah. the bed. Except for right now. Bad boy, Eric. Oh my goodness. We can officially pee with privacy. <laughs> There's still some kinks to work out with this door, but 
It's back on, baby. So the issues are it still drags on the floor a little bit. So we're going to have to shave some down on that. Mm -hmm. And we had this plan to put this gasket strip around the door, mostly to just like conceal noise and to just help with privacy. It worked more or less because it stopped the horrible squeak that we had yeah, in the door. There was a bad squeak. But sadly, the door is a little bit bowed. So when you close it, it kind of, it got warped a little bit at some point. So good news is we have a door though. We have a door. All right. I think that was kind of the last major piece of the puzzle. So now, do we get to go put things in here? I don't know. Should we officially move in? Ah! I, I, I don't even know what to say or think or... She's speechless. <laughs> it doesn't feel real. believe it did you ever think this moment would come i didn't think it would come i still don't believe that it's come oh i'm not a very emotional person i feel like most people be crying right now but instead i'm just not speaking <laughs> <laughs> first off the couch is pretty much done we still have the front to put on the legs so that you can pull this out smoothly but we got our custom cushions in we actually didn't fit them until this morning. So I'm very glad that they work. <laughs> yeah, I mocked all this up in SketchUp and then gave it to a guy to build, the same guy who built our custom chairs that we haven't put in yet. No. Um, and it worked, it like worked. a charm. It's so nice and it's so comfortable. I feel like it doesn't look like a typical RV couch, which I love. It looks like a really homey home couch. <laughs> We got some rugs. We got this little poof, which is funny. It's got another little one inside. Obviously we just opened this as well, but we figure they can double as extra seating, as footrests, as storage, because both of them open. Multi-purpose, very lightweight as well. And then we have our desk chairs, which we also just put together this morning. Not in love with the color of these. We're gonna change it, but we love the construction of them otherwise. Obviously we still have to find a way to secure these while we're driving, because you don't want them just rumbling all around, but we'll figure that out down the road. We officially have a real bed. <laughs> Check me out. Ta-da! It's almost like a little coffin. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're claustrophobic, this might not be for you. <laughs> but a really comfortable, adorable coffin. Yeah, we've been watching a lot of what we do in the shadows, so we can appreciate a comfortable coffin. <laughs> There's a lot more we're gonna do to finish this area. We don't wanna let the cat out of the bag, but many more projects to come on that. Can you guys believe it? It's so comfortable in here. We so just chill. moved into our first home yeah. ever. <laughs> By the way, we are posting this video today, right now. I'm about to go finish it and post it. It's Halloween. It is. And we just realized six years ago on this exact day, we left San Francisco to start this journey. Yeah, on we Halloween. We didn't plan that or anything. I can't even believe how this is all lined yeah, up. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of spooky. So we are going to take this on our first overnight trip tomorrow. So I hope you end up catching that video. We're very, very excited about that. But the RV is not done. There's still a lot of little finishing touches we have to do. So we mm -hmm. might be back in the shop for a little bit after that. But we are going on our first trip, our you guys. Our first it's overnight. Happening. Is that the door? That's weird. <laughs> Who is that? It's not time for trick-or-treating yet. Oh, God. 